Hey guys, so in one of my previous videos, you noticed that my fish finder wasn't working and I couldn't figure out what was going on. But I, when I got home, I figured it out. It's the power cable. So I searched for the most inexpensive power cable for the Hummingbird Helix. And so this one was at Bass Pro Shop. I get military discount. So of course, you know, I went with that one, but it is a PC 11. That's the one that you need for the Hummingbird Helix 7. All right. So I'm going to show you how to replace that wire real quick. And then I'm going to come back and tell you a little something else. So guys, I don't know if you can see down inside of there, the one of the pins broke off. This thing got corroded. I don't know it, that happened really fast. I haven't had this thing very long, but it corroded really quickly and one of the pins broke off it has to be two pins and so with this cable like i said it's the pc11 um just going to open this thing up so this comes with a replacement wire this is what i needed i guess this wasn't on there before this is the keeper and if you notice how that has the two pins all right so i'm gonna put that back on and that is it we're going to unravel this thing all right so this is going to be really easy to replace so this is the part that connects um to the battery here so i have to take this off i'm going to have to heat shrink it again and then i'm going to have to get some connecting tubes there so i'm going to get busy and take care of that real quick i'm going to cut this off and then i'll show you how to put it on all right guys a couple things you're going to need you're going to need um the butt splicing these are 22 by 18 and then you're going to need some heat shrink tubing for on there or electrical tape whatever you want to put on there all right so this is the part that's coming that i'm getting rid of so i'm gonna cut this all right so i just have to expose these wires a little bit more all right so what i have to do is run this in reverse down through here and through this wire right there so that's how i want that to come out need two of these and i need my hink sheet shrink on here already one on this side so I'm gonna have to overlap them because they're not long enough. And one on this side. I'm trying to keep all this stuff dry because it just rained out here. So I'm gonna overlap those two over top of these when I heat shrink it. Positive to positive. 22. So nice and snug down there. That's not coming off. That's snug. All right. And then one more for the negative wire. Should be enough in there. It's not coming off. One more for the negative. Make sure it's pushed in there. Crimp down good. All right, before I wrap this, I want to make sure my fish finder is actually working. All right, so. Just gonna plug this in, make sure it fits nice and tight. Screw that down, get that out the water. That's plugged in. We're gonna take the power, we're gonna plug it in to the battery or to the fish finder. Notice this part is up. That's plugged in. Let's see if we got power. There we go. 
we've got power all right i'm gonna go ahead and take this battery out and now i'm gonna finish heat shrinking this and getting it set up all right now that i have the heat shrink over top of both pieces i'm just going to use heat gun heat these two up real quick and that should do it it's not the prettiest thing but i have my fish finder back together i have the power cable fixed um make sure i have this little piece on there to preserve it a little bit longer and i'm good to go and just like that is it guys it took me a total of probably 10 minutes the rest of it was filming time and so uh it's really easy to do that part cost me about 20 dollars from bass pro you may be able to find it a little bit cheaper somewhere else i just couldn't but um i'm actually getting ready to take my wife back out for another trip uh, this weekend, we're just going on a meat trip. I'm going to try to use artificials. That's all we're going to use. I'm trying to get her used to using artificial, so that way um, it's a little bit less expensive. Plus, it's good just to be able to use artificials just to get out on the water and see what you can catch. Whatever you can trick with that plastic. So, the other thing I wanted to show you in this video is if you guys saw one of my previous videos where i went night fishing with a bunch of uh guys from rack a few of the guys had their lights underneath the kayak well that's from my buddy josh joshua is really good at putting these lights on the kayaks and his company is green tide kayak works uh, i'm gonna have all his information in the description you can see it right there um, on facebook really good dude and so he had my kayak fitted out with these lights in less than a couple of days as you can see here i have some in the front i have some underneath the seat it's hard to see there but i have some underneath the seat and then i have lights in the back and so that wire right here leads to the lights underneath so this is what the lights look like at night it is pretty cool nice and well lit up it does really well on the water so i'm excited about getting out on the water um to show you guys that all right that is it guys really appreciate you guys hanging with me watching this video um so i was able to get my uh, battery my fish finder working again and then you know the lights that are underneath the kayak so i am absolutely ready to get out there on the water especially going night fishing now so if you guys like this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you've never subscribed go ahead and subscribe it really helps me out and then share my channel so others can see the type of content i'm putting out all right guys till next time remember god loves you god bless you may keep you peace